like a, like a couple of like a little bit of whispers around the water cooler of like what happens if Secret actually get knocked out in the first round of the lower bracket. Uh, if that happens, are they actually going to go through the qualifiers for TI? Do I they believe... not get direct invited? Yeah. I believe or, in Puppy. Or, or, or do they actually? You, well, okay. It's it's very easy to believe in Puppy with every single. I think it's every Valve event he's managed to place in the top eight. Yep. yep. Every single Valve event. That's... If this is like the first one that he doesn't place there, then something is seriously, seriously I, wrong. I was going to bring that up. I, I, I this point. would be the first. I mean, Puppy has been to all the Valve events, all the TIs, and this would be the first time that he's that he's failed to place top eight. Just un. I mean, has, it, has it, it hasn't happened. Has yet. there actually been any I, I, event I, I that he wanna, hasn't been invited I, to? I do want to urge some caution here, uh, gentlemen, because uh -huh. uh, you know. We are getting ahead of ourselves. This is day one, hey, Navi's right? back. This is day... <laughs> Navi is back. <laughs> it's true. But this is day one. Where it's a nine-day tournament with a gap in between as well. And no one is eliminated on the first two days of the group stages. That's true. I know it does make a massive difference to teams like Complexity and potentially but... now Secret that they will drop into that lower bracket. It's, it's also it, into it's a, really tough, right? it's also it into really a lower is. bracket. It's a best but, of one the first round, too. But I will give you this. OG. Frankfurt. Bam. That's all I'm going to say about it, okay? That's true, but... That's all I'm going to say about it. It can, and it has happened. We're they into just, the draft for game two. They just need to adapt. They really need to adapt. You're just holding it. on to optimism. Oh, come on. Be <laughs> they're, they're doing the same thing that they did versus Navi the last game, though. They gave him the, what, the Phoenix and the... Yeah, how the, did that work out? The Phoenix and the Mirana. How did that work out? <laughs> Damn it, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> they gave them the Phoenix and the Mirana the first game, and then the second game they banned it. You realize, Fog, sitting next nope. to me, you're like in milk territory here, right? Oh, God, okay. no. Uh, All hey, right, you, anyway, you, I'm going to go ahead and take a step You're, not, you're not dressed don't... like a lumberjack, don't worry. <laughs> it's fine, he didn't bring the paddle. Oh, God, Toby, please. <laughs> okay, so no, we, but... see the bounty, uh, we see the bounty ban this time. Yes. No real surprise after that first case. Yes. And the life stealer as yes. well. Yeah, yeah. Those two. You said the word adapt, right? And mm -hmm. clearly, we're going to take away the bounty hunter and the life stealer. We're going to run the whiz, something completely different. But again, I, I really. Tide okay, is then, actually the third best hero in this patch, according but, to our but then hero. Give rankings. them Enchantress Tide Hunter, which yeah. they didn't want to give them game one. Mm -hmm. Yep. No. So you, if they you, just you've... walked into the fact you... that Wings wanted those and now they get them. Smack. Yeah. You, you, you've made Wings early game and rotation so much stronger. You've given Wings team fight a tight hunter that probably won't get zoned out of that, out of that top lane. Like we saw a blink dagger early on from the slaughter. Mm -hmm. This time around, like Team Secret, what are you going to commit to actually push that tight hunter off that top lane? Can you even stop him from hitting a, a, a normal timing on a level six? Is Ravage going to come in to your fight so early on for Wings that you can even force into into towers? That's. <laughs> And then Team Secret missed the timing. And like, you pick up an IO, what's your combo? Are you feeling a little Come worried on. about your... Um, no, you no. know what? It's hey, okay. I... You can't ban everything. Come on, guys. <laughs> Give them a break right now. You guys are being so hey, 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 you're right. You're right. Team Secret's got to win. I said 2-1. Because yeah. I actually set a score. Ooh. Fair enough. But yeah, I mean, sure. They you, get, you, they... you, are, you are back in the right horse, though. Um, we get... were both back in the right horse. I am not here. sure about this Bat Rider pick at all. Um... I, it's obviously really good in the hands of Universe, but I think uh, the teams that are good with Batrider in this patch are running it both offlane and mid, and it's hard for me to see RTZ running a Batrider mid. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, unless no. unless you switch the lanes up a little bit more. They probably want to change up their like entire way that they've been playing, though. Like They haven't true. picked either of these two heroes, and maybe they want Universe to be playing a true initiator now at this point. Yeah, I, I like this, that they're at least changing it up a bit, because okay. it's, obviously they need to because of what's been happening. Yeah, I agreed. I agreed. I'm wondering, uh, too, if uh, if Wings is thinking about banning out that Clinks up against the Enchantress. It gives, finally, Eternal Envy some damage which you can rotate with. Uh, that can function with the Bat Rider. Obviously, you don't need to combo with the Io all the time. Like, Io's just going to be good no matter what situation, just because he's able to buff up. Mm -hmm. um, whichever yeah. core is in trouble. Uh, That's a good call. It's also an Envy hero. Yeah. He's been playing that. I, 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 just, want, I just want to see Envy in a comfort zone. Like, like, like that last game with the Juggernaut, it's a comfort hero, but it didn't work in the draft, so he didn't find the zone for his comfort. Uh, I don't think, by that point again, I don't think it mattered. Yeah, it really didn't. Uh, but in, in this game, like, it just has to be something else. Like, something which can fight, something which is able to, like, rotate and find kills. Like, Clinks, Slark, don't care. Just something which allows Envy to play Envy, aka get aggressive. This is completely switching it up, though. Like, we haven't seen them play Batrider ever with this roster. So yeah, really, is, they're, they're, really, that, they're yes. really changing it up completely from what they've been doing lately. So that was my... I, I like this. At least they're doing something to so, change so their approach. The question there is genius or, 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 or hope. 
Desperation? Desperation. Madness. Well, but this is one of the, that's the thing. That's part of the reason why we expected this team to so, be so good. This is one of the things that you're supposed to be able to do with a veteran roster. You're supposed to be able to change up your play style like this because you have these incredible all-star type players that are good on so many different yep. heroes. That's what gives you the options. Right. That's right. it. We're running like in mid now. <laughs> We're looking for the all-star player, right? Mm. Actually, no, it's the draw strat. It's the dry strat. It, it could be. It's a little weird Trial. with the wisp, but no, no, no. We saw. I I think it was actually. It's actually been wings that has run wisp with drow fairly wings, recently. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's true. But like we said, those guys. Uh, yeah. Those guys it's, crazy, it's, right? Any crazy. five heroes <laughs> run at you, but it's actually not completely crazy, right? If mm -hmm. if if you're timing your pushes extraordinarily effectively. On a ban phase two. Don't know if they want to. They don't. I don't think they really want to ban the Venge. They ban the Oracle for the obviously the Bat Rider views, and he can remove the Sticky and of course remove the Ulti. But I think banning the Venge might be a little bit of overkill here. Mm. So probably looking at what other heroes that Wings really prioritizes versus these type of two, which I think. Okay, so Weaver, Weaver. Interesting. Okay. Maybe they feel like they get me a little light on lockdown. Yeah. Like if if that's a Bat Rider pickup and you do get something like well okay, yeah, draw would bet should be terrible unless you're gonna level up Gust a lot. I guess they want to they want to give universe you know they don't want the weaver because weaver is quite good versus bat rider in the lane so i guess they want to yep. really guarantee universe to try to get a at least not well, completely guaranteed but at least an approach to help him out a bit it's setting up for like a it's setting up for like a tiny or an ursa they're worried about they're worried about artesia and envy getting kited right i think mm. you're going to see artesia or envy if they go they could could go for something like the drow strat or they could go in the other direction and have them on on melee DP, melee dpsers I'm, I'm still interested like they actually let something like a disruptor through because normally like when an io comes up you flag two support heroes straight away it's witch doctor as well as disruptor like their team fight for wings is going to get pretty damn brutal if they can also have a pullback on a bat rider or on an io when they relocate in mm -hmm. I yeah, see. but again, it, it again though you you when you this is the tricky thing. The problem I have with wings when you you just have to change your mentality to evaluate their drops because everybody else Damn. is trying to like deal with or disrupt the relocate initiation yeah. somehow. Yeah. Wings are fine with that. They're just going to run right into it. Yeah. Well, they they can still disrupt it now. Like you nightmare one, you phoenix grip another. They're yeah. both locked in position, and obviously I is not going to stun you. <laughs> I really want to see how Team Secret wrap up their last calls. Yeah, I mean, the obvious ones for at least Envy, I guess, are the Ursa, the Clinks, and the Jug. But mm -hmm. Bane is quite good versus pretty much all three of those. Exactly, um, exactly. Does Team Secret then just say, you know what, screw it. Like, let's just start running a jungler here. Like, get something else. Because I kind of feel like with an IO as well, they can't be too aggressive in their I... lane. Like, unless you start running, like, a, a, a Wiss Tiny in the mid, and you duel it there, and you force rotations from Enchantress into that mid lane... I think Wings would. I think the Enchantress from Wings would punish any jungler that you're going to pick Dire Side. They're, so they're still Phoenix. Be yeah, but it's, Phoenix not it's not a no, jungler. No, it's, it's yeah. not a jungler. But it'll... Puppy Chen mm. is actually not. It's not. That's not a bad. It's, it's the only one I think that could battle against an Enchantress. Like you wouldn't want to run an Enigma. Uh, actually, he's also not that bad. Well, a lot of time being used here as well. Okay, Ancient Apparition. Aye, aye. So I guess, okay, so they don't want to go, they, this just might be the approach of them not wanting oh. to go for the Clinks or Sir Jug, and wanting to have an option to be able to zone the Tidehunter out, because that's one of the old ones that people used to pick, like, you know, of course, the AA Chilling Touch goes through his uh, Kraken Shell. This is also, they have in their heads, uh, Wings with Husker is actually beyond terrifying, mm. and they also run Alchemist. What so about, it's, a, it's kind of a, a pre-counter to that. How about a CK for Secret? I mean, it's it's a little it's, weird, but it's no, it's we've not. seen the CKAA and we've seen the Wisp CK. I don't know how much we've seen all three together, but it's, it's dangerous against a Tide Hunter, though. It's not can't... bad. It's not bad at all. The problem is, I'm still on what you said earlier about. I thought they were going to try and go a little bit more in the direction of these comfort heroes, mm -hmm. and CK is definitely not a comfort no, hero. No, definitely not. Yeah, it's not really EE style, is it? But now they now they need something global because, okay. You had everything to set up while Spectre continues to farm. Then the fight begins. He spectral horns, ancient apparition, and Io. If this Spectre can get a little bit of tankiness and potentially like mana defusal, like he's going to kill off these supports and then still have time to reality to a secondary target. Okay. I, I, okay. I'm actually really, really scared for Team Secret right now that their supports will just not survive. The Batrider won't be able to get initiation because Spectre's going to be right on top of him at the start of the fights. Like, you're almost having to force the issue by Team Secret. The Death Prophet gives you an opening to do that. 
and the Battle Rider potentially can give you an opening to do that, but you need to have that straight up combo. I, I, I almost feel like Klinks has to be the last one here. You get you get a pick, and then you get the advantage, so then you can get an objective straight after it. I just want to thank uh, Wings quickly, because that's the first plane of the tournament, and the first Spectre of the tournament. Are, are, you, thinking about, are you thinking about your, your companion, companion predictions? Yeah. <laughs> How close? Just, just being selfish, that's all right. <laughs> just speed them up a little bit more, I, Wings, I'm, please. We're relying on you guys for a bit of wacky stuff, right? I'm fine for something unique. Or at least new. So now Wings need a mid-hero versus the Depth Prophet. Plenty. And they want to. Yeah, they're gonna. What do they? What do they want to ban for secret? Maybe <laughs> they. They might want to ban the clinks, like you were saying. But there are a couple yeah. of options that secret has. So, okay, yeah, they ban goes. the clinks. There yeah. we go. It was. Yeah. It's just a little too obvious and too easy yeah. for him. I thought that's why they would have picked it up in that second phase. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'd actually like to see something. I don't know. Oh, he's he's already out. Oh. Like something that's just tanky. So if Team Secret do try and go for it, yeah. like they, they don't find the kill, he's able to weather the storm of the Ancient Apparition, or has some kind of like escape mechanism from like the Death Prophet when Spirit Siphon happens. I actually really yeah. like that call. I think it's I think you could you could even go like a timber saw here, you could go like a brewmaster, just somebody to get in the middle of him. He w he was in the back of my mind as well, because but then Death Prophet Silence and Lasso has me a little bit scared, but there's sure. no burst damage from Secret, so they're going to trigger his reactive armor. But I don't know if Wings really have to do that. Yeah, they have four mate. Okay, More so Sven. Okay. okay. That's... Well, at least it's a combo with the IO. Yep. But I'm fairly certain that Wings is going to prioritize controlling up the Team Secret's Ancients. And definitely putting some aggressive movement into that Dire Jungle. So they can't just stack and farm. Like, this isn't a no Tide Hunter type of game. Like, they can't just stack five million camps and expect to farm them. The Wings will be all over it. Wind. Ranger. Trying to go for a Wind Ranger. Okay. So we've seen the Wind Ranger in Enchantress a couple of times. So very quickly as we go down the line, based on draft, who, who do who do you feel has a better draft this time round, Alan? I, boy, this is a really hard one to call. I think Secret have a have a chance. To to do something in this game. I don't think it's going to be a stomp like the previous game. I'm still leaning toward Wings just because I think they play a style with these five heroes that is going to be really difficult to deal with, but I, I think this is a lot more even. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take Secret and say we'll, we'll have game three. Okay, very quickly, Toby. Uh, I believe the Swings, their rotations early on are so much better. Their team fight is absolutely superior. They've got great control, and they've got the ability just to be everywhere, and I don't think those supports will last long from Secret. Talked? I believe. Let's go Secret. He's sticking to his guns, and wow. we've got to admire him for that. At least, let's head back to our commentators for game two. All right, Secrets, one game away from being bottom of their group, and Swings, one game away from going into the decider. Gods, but where are you betting your horse? I... How quick is Secret going to lose? Yeah. <laughs> it's less like, where are you banging your horse? And I feel like that's what people are probably talking about now. With Secret have looked yeah. pretty bad today. That goes without saying. They that really have. They really have. All right. Secret versus Newbie. Game number two. Let's go. Made it's in secret just in time. Just like that. They need everything they can to be able to five man smoke straight into Blink. Might be able to pick up the first blood as they should be able to run him down. They a little bit of extra damage. And sure enough, there it is. Now the question. Wait, wait, there it is. All right. Pilot Eye picks up the first blood. Now the question is whether or not they're going to be able to get anything more as the fight is still going to go on. Looks like Innocence took a little bit of damage. Secret starting off this game number two with a very minor advantage in first blood for themselves. I guess after that game one, you got to take what you can, gods. Yeah, they went for the, the level one smoke through mid lane. I really like that that play. We see it very rarely, but when it, I've seen it, it's always, always been effective. And find a kill, get down a deep ward, and we'll see what Secret can go go from this. Oh, oh, rune. Bottom one. Gonna be challenged. Knight. Yeah. I saw it swoops in with a nightmare and says, thank you very much, Artur. And they leave the top rune for the Wind Ranger. So, Wings recovering a little bit after losing that first blood. Yeah, Universe is in deep, throwing away a creep wave, but Isis doesn't even have mana for a nightmare here, and he loses his clarity. So, good play from Universe to cancel that and keep the creep wave coming his way. Yeah. 
So this should be a uh, free level two for him in that regard. Meanwhile, our uh, two supports from Secret in a kind of an awkward position. Looks like they're going to wrap around behind the uh, the off lake Tidehunter and see if they can get an early kill. They've already managed to get the stun, and the right-click damage is pretty immense here, so they should be able to get this kill. Bian tries to put himself into the side shot, but is just not going to be able to make it out alive. I think he was hoping to be able to get into the trees and go for a healing self play, but not going to happen. Low panel. Bit of a replay of uh, those beautiful gentlemen over there. Yeah. But uh, I, I think he was kind of in this. I, I could tell, like, when he's starting items, he saved 500 gold. It was almost like he was trying to evaluate the situation. Can I contest this lane, mm -hmm. or do I need to Iron Talon jungle? And he's going to look back and say, okay, probably made the wrong call. Expecting the IO to spend more time at bottom, and Secret, as soon as they see the tide up there, we're ready to contest. Uh, Shadow, is he actually dead? There's no Nightmare to be able to stop this one. Universe, he's got the kill. He's going to get one more right click, finish him off. He may actually die here as the tower does get a couple of shots on him, and the return kill does go to Ice Ice, but still a big win for Universe in the off lane. That's cancelling that clarity earlier. Ends up really paying dividends for him as Man, still Bane had no mana. He's trying to actually stop the pull, but it's not going to happen, and all he's just going to take a lot of damage in return. Keeps on right-clicking the heroes to pull the two melee creeps over to him, but one of them's going to get denied, so he just took a lot of damage and only really pulled one melee creep worth of experience for that. This start for Team Secret in game number two could not have really gone better, other than Arteezy not getting that level one bounty rune. Everything else has just been on point. They killed the Tide when he comes to the offlane, they got the first blood with their smoke, their offlane Batrider Universe has managed to get a solo kill on the Spectre. Ah, uh, yes. The good old Seder Banisher gank. <laughs> Innocence is going to try and uh, keep Arteezy in one place with that rather insane purge and its two-second cooldown. Doesn't look like it's going to work, though. The Seder Tormentor showing itself. Arteezy is just sitting really far back as the creep wave does get into the tower. He's going to try and pull it off, and that is where the Enchantress is going to be. Wrapping around behind the Tier 1 tower now, just trying to get in range. Does manage to get the purge, but still, our Wind Ranger is a little distance away. He does manage to start soul siphoning up, and it looks like he's going to be able to survive off of that, and Innocence is going to go down in return. Not really valuing that Spirit Siphon enough, not respecting it, and Arteezy is able to pick up the turnaround. Yeah, I mean, Secret just ready for that aggression in mid lane. Pi even teeping in with the overcharge, giving that extra survivability. So, Wings, it's one of those things where we haven't really seen, like, what happens when they get contested in the early game. And here, it's a bad early game start, and they're just trying to force the Universe issue at much. it again. He gets the Nightmare just in time. Ice Ice will be able to get himself out from underneath that flame. But still, Universe is destroying this 1v2. Yeah, I mean, that kind of dive on the mid lane is just very overzealous. Like, you're not mm -hmm. realistically going to, even without the TP in from Io, I think they're unlikely to get the kill just because he had two spirit siphons. He can throw one on the Wind Ranger, one on the Enchantress, and it was a very low percentage play to be making for wings and something where they struggle a bit in the first couple of minutes and they just need to kind of slow things down and wait and kind of transition into the mid game without giving away these kind of kills. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, game number one, right? It's just, you, you can have this static laning phase for wings, and if you want to be able to be aggressive, you can be aggressive uh, around the 10 minute marker, but no need to be diving in so early before then, as uh, these early kills may actually allow Secret to be able to hold on during the time when wings are going to be looking for those kills, right? I mean, you're going to start being aggressive with your Enchantress, Wind Ranger, around the 10 to 12 minute mark, right? And try and set up the Spectre for kills, but if they feed away too much in this laning phase, they may actually not be able to get those kills they were searching for. Yeah, they are at least managing to get Tide what he needs in the off lane now with the supports rotating towards mid, so it has kind of opened up some space across the map, but realistically, they want to get something more done with this Enchantress. They've got the sleep and they've got a Centaur coming in. They may be able to get this kill. Pylai die. There's the reveal. He's going to try and go for a lasso out, but the burst damage may be too much. He gets the tether away. Last couple of right clicks aren't going to be enough. So Innocence is the one to pick up the kill. They're quickly wrapping around behind the tier one tower, see if they can put some pressure on Universe immediately after that one. As the creep wave is coming in, but Universe plays it safe. And I think the big thing where they need to pressure early on is because you're versing a Sven who already has Helm the Dominator. So you don't want to play... You need to make sure your mid-game goes well, because otherwise the Sven will just do that power farm thing where you're stacking Ancient, stacking your jungle, and getting out of control. Almost like to Alchemist levels of farm. So already there's aggressive wards up. 
near the ancient stack. Puppy's going to immediately dewater though, and this is very important strategically for Secret to deny any vision of this ancient area where Envy's going to be looking to stack. Yeah. That is one of the critical ways for Sven to be able to get uh, far ahead of the enemy carry. He's usually one of those heroes that needs to be able to operate with like a 5,000 gold advantage, I would say, most of the time, and that comes from ancient stacking. Um, they Wings can actually deny that. They'll be okay, but doesn't look like Seeker to give them their opportunity. They're actually going to go for Bian here. Managed to get the stun, the follow-up Spirit Siphon. Can't actually cleanse that one off, so they are going to be able to just run him down underneath that Tier 1 tower and probably turn it into a Tier 1 kill as well. Yeah, just, I think, clever rotations from Artesia. A hero you don't normally expect to be rotating into Genkyu, but just a Spirit Siphon all you need. They've even got the Exorcism, which they can commit with the God Strength to guarantee a Tier 1 tower. Any towers you take means you're going to have more of the map open to farm, and that just power farming Sven play gets that much more viable. Wind Ranger trying to use the illusion to bait something out from Secret. Obviously not going to be the case here. Eternal Envy. Now the Spectre Ultimate goes down. They manage to get the Nightmare. But they're not actually controlling any of these heroes very well. He's going for Pilai Die in the background, but he's ra very rapidly underneath the Tier 1. And just like that, the Wing's rotation is completely defeated. That's a Spectre, the first Spectre Ultimate, plus uh, a full rotation out from Wings to the top lane. This buys Secret a lot of space in middle as well as bottom. Five-man swing. They're gonna go. I don't even know if they can for sure get this tower. And even if they do, this is not a very meaningful tower for Team Secret. If they really want, they can just fall back and leave this. But I think they've actually got the tools to defend now as well. Spectre doesn't even have mana for a, a dagger right now, so. Yeah, sure enough. A TP in from Universe is all it takes. And Universe, his farm isn't even slowed down at all. Obviously, he did a fantastic job at the bottom lane. And he's only another like 600 gold away from being able to get that blink dagger. He can just farm the dire jungle now to finish that off. The scan scouts out the retreat right at the end of the duration there, so just on-point play coming out from Secret. They know that Wings have now backed off from this top lane to go and farm. It gives Envy the kind of freedom to continue contest like we're farming this lane. He's got stacks which were taken initially by the Batrider, so there was like a quad stack over in his jungle, but he's got stacks now at the Ancients, which will be all his, so... Wings need to put themselves in a position where they can really fight around the Ravage plus Haunt. They need to be very careful about how they use, they use those ultimates, because as soon as they're on cooldown, that's where Secret can take objectives. You've got the Sven who can either farm his Ancient Stacks, the DP you can push Towers with, so... Wings have to make sure they capitalize when they go for the Spectre Haunt. Invis Rune picked up for our TZ, but Blink is already putting some pressure on the Tier 1. Looks like we heard the sounds of God's Strength. Sven is going to clear through the offlane camp and maybe rotate over to the Ancients. That is... Uh, a mediocre stack, but still may be enough. How do you think you, you continue to play this one as an Eternal Envy? Do you get that fast Blink Dagger? Hmm, he's... I'm not sold on the Blink. Either the... Uh, I may as well upgrade your boots to Treads, but the Echo yeah. Saber has become quite popular on the hero, and mm. even still the SMY build, but I think the Echo Saber is perhaps the preferred damage dealing build for this hero. I think um, being able to play this, this Fen as the kind of Echo Saber and as you said, like SMY, that kind of like very stat heavy build is the way to go. Arteezy uses Invis to be able to scout out Ice Ice inside the Roshan pit and he will be taken out. So they save the stack, keep Eternal Envy healthy, happy, and farming away while getting that pick off Wings. No real response from them. Yeah, and the big issue with the laying stage going poorly with like the Tide giving up kills, the Spectre even dying to bat, is that they haven't set themselves up to slow down the Sven whatsoever. The stacks have already been farmed up once. You've got to imagine Envy's going to continue to stack that, look to farm it up multiple times. And at what stage are Wings really ready to fight it? They've got their ultimates, so if they really want to commit all these big teamfight ultimates, they have a chance to, but they're being out farmed. They're going to have a level 6 puppy Ancient Apparition soon, so then they're going to be fighting into the Ice Blast as well. And Secret have all the tools to fight around those that Ancients area with the Universe Blink, more importantly. There is no laning wards, so Wings' rotation from Ice Ice and Blink might be able to catch out the duo of Wisp and Sven, but if they fail this gank, they may be punished by TP rotations from Secret or even just uh, a free escape from, say, a relocate out from the Wisp that will still, in the end, punish Wings for their inefficiency. Doesn't look like there's going to be an opening that they feel comfortable with. And Universe is just going to go back to farming, and this is where like you have your Blink Dagger, Wings are going to be playing somewhat scared. 
The first smoke with the blink didn't work, but you can fall back, farm up the four staff a bit, slow things down if you're secret, recognizing that Envy is going to continue to power farm. Has picked up a helm, so it looks like we'll see the armlet build out of him. Armlet, even better when you've got the Io to kind of basically counteract the the HP loss when you activate the armlet and keep mm -hmm. you alive. So it is the most cost effective damage item really to pick up on a Sven. Wings wasting a lot of time, and maybe it's them that is now the team that is a bit too easy to read with their rotations across the map. Secret seem to have their number here in game two for the first 11 minutes or so. You can see our Spectre playing really far back right now. The bottom lane afraid of being potentially ganked as the rest of his team is searching for that kill opportunity. They're going to go ahead and pop that smoke on the tier one tower, quickly take it down with a focus fire. And that is the end of Wings' rotation, and it's bottom just, lane. Yeah, yeah, it's a strong setup, because you've got Arteezy pushing with the Blink Batrider seeing behind him, and there's always the threat of a relocated. Oh, now the Spectre forced to pop the ultimate as Universe actually scouts him out, jumps over to Arteezy, slows him down with the dagger. The rest of Wings is coming in, but the Exorcism is still out. And Universe is actually going to jump in. The Ravage goes down. Maybe they can actually pop Universe real quickly and still find Arteezy, or maybe not. Here comes the relocate. Goes for Innocence. He's going to be the first one down for the Sven, as they are able to finish him off with Cleave. Now Shadow tries to get away, but he's cleaned up Arteezy's nukes. Double kill for him. And Secret, well on their way to be able to take a Tier 1 tower at that bottom lane. First really good punishment there from Secret in a team fight. Yeah, it's, it's so hard to engage into this incredibly tanky Death Prophet with the Treads double null. You're looking at this when he's on strength thread, something like 1200 HP. And you get a decent Ravage initiation, but the follow up damage is just not really there. It's just yeah. the power shot that gives you a bit of extra burst damage. But other than the Bat Rider, they can only kill one of the two targets. And the Death Prophet, they probably can't even kill in that situation. So the real Highlight Eye caught in the river is going to go down. Okay. But, uh... It seems like, I mean, throwing the Ravage, anytime you have to use Ravage and it's not catching the, the Sven and Wisp, I think that's going to be a great opportunity for Secret just to be able to punish you, right? There's just no follow-up damage. They had to, like, instantly kill both of those heroes, even have a chance at responding to, uh, to Wisp Sven when they lack that big AoE disable. And it was a really good relocation position because they were right on top of the Enchantress, who was going to be one of those key follow-up damage heroes for the side of wings. Yeah. You're not expecting your Spectre to really do a whole lot of damage in that situation, but the Enchantress at the back lines on these Ravaged or Fiend Script heroes is going to be a big problem. So, Secret immediately make their next move. They're going to farm up some Ancients here while invading the enemy jungle. And they've got, again, Relocate already back up. They're ready to back up this trio with the Sven if needed. Means Universe can pretty much fearlessly look for some of these kills. They're gonna throw the scan out near the uh, hard camp. Hopefully to be able to find somebody farming that one up. Shadow though, now gonna show himself in the mid lane. Secret, just uh, unfortunately a bit too fast to see that opportunity. As their smoke has now run out and they may not be able to get that pick. Blink armlet on Envy, he is ready to fight and he now acts as like an instant follow up to the, the Batrider's initiation. Just need to be careful about how he uses this with the the tether relocates in, but it's Wings who are forced to kind of five-man around the map. Ravages come back up, so they just want to make sure they're sticking together at all costs. Tier 2 being chipped away, Eternal Envy. Here comes the it's Ice Blast, jump though. Soon. They can get the Ice Blast onto three. Oh, that's going to be a big one. Now to jump in, they get the lasso pull back onto BN. Now the Spectre pops the ultimate secret, actually playing this really defensively despite that great initiation, forcing out the Ravage. Eternal Envy is going to be clipped by it, but that is all, and Wings still pushing forward like they want to be able to fight this one. They've got the Fiend's Grip onto Eternal Envy. The relocate back, though, is going to be able to save them. The Shackle Shot doesn't actually latch, and Wings can't actually take this one. Not anymore. Now Eternal Envy's got the God Strength. He's going to be slept up. Wings, I think you've got to count your lucky stars that you're going to get out of that fight alive. Very scrappy fight from both sides. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, no casualties. Both teams losing their Tier 2 tower. It really looked like that Ice Blast was... Envy could have blinked in, Storm Bolted 2, and started fighting, but his team weren't really in position to back him up. And yeah, even... did, you, did you see our, our TZ's TP? What what happened there? Did I he did not. cancel somewhere? Uh, must have canceled accidentally. Yeah. I'm not, not entirely sure on that one. Because that was definitely the reason that Wings felt okay at pushing forward, but I, I'm agree with you. Even 4 versus 5, that seemed like almost a fight that Secret could have won. 
Yes. A, a guaranteed two hero storm bolt on squishy heroes, the Wind yeah. Ranger and Enchantress, but you're blinking into the Fiend's Grip, and your team doesn't have the easiest way to cancel the Fiend's Grip when Flame Break costs a lot of mana. Universe actually ran into mana problems after that lasso, and it, it looked like they kind of didn't. They went for the front lines rather than the two squishies on the back line who did get hit by the Ice, ice Blast. But at least a neutral trade for wings, which at this stage is when you're kind of playing from behind, you'll take those even exchanges. Yeah. And they've got some, uh, they would have some decent control of the Dire Jungle at that point in time, but you've got some really good defensive wards by Secret. They want to be able to protect that, as that is going to be one of Eternal Envy's main sources of farm, bouncing between top lane, jungle, and then uh, going over to the Ancients. Universe is going to try and set up a relocate gank onto Shadow. But Shadow backs up at just the right time. And this is kind of what led to some of secret, Secret's downfall in the early games today against Na'Vi. They just went for too much of this kind of solo gank play where they're not getting their cores involved in. They're still showing it here. Like, despite Secret being ahead, I'm not like convinced by their team play. That fight at top was kind of all over the place. Uh, and they, this game as well, we're seeing Universe kind of go for these solo pickoffs where I think he should be kind of spending more time with Arteezy, with the team, taking objectives. Highlight Eye will cop the dagger. Ice Ice. Oh, actually, just straight up comes forward. Man, to get the Fiend's Grip, but now the silence. The combo. Ravage actually goes down, but all of Wings are so damn low, they're not going to be able to follow this one up real well unless Arteezy actually goes down. The Focus Fire is going to be able to finish him off. Ice Ice gets taken out by Eternal Envy, but he needs the protection of Highlight Eye. What? Oh. Blink? Hello. Face checks to the wards, and now they actually might be able to have enough to be able to go forward. Ice Blast on the Shadow, but Eternal Envy couldn't get the right click. The Universe jumps forward, catches Innocence, and they will be able to get a fourth kill. Not Spectre, but instead, the Enchantress. Both teams not really showing their A-game here. Wings in game number two. Misplays like that from Wind Ranger, just chasing unnecessarily and just dying to the spirits of the Io. An unnecessary chase. They'd had at least an okay fight up until that point, trading the Death Prophet for the Bane and the Tide, at least like a, a core for your off like your off lane plus a support. It yeah. wasn't too bad, and then they give away two more, so <laughs> Wings not really looking like themselves here. Certainly not. Secret though, at least in a position to succeed, and this has very much come from like when they can get away with this kind of greed with a hero like Sven, that's great for them. And I, I feel like they may fall back on playing a lot of Sven in this tournament, playing heroes like Alchemist, because they may just be more comfortable in these games where they can outfarm their opponents. Yeah. And that really does seem to be the case, as sure enough, that 5,000 gold lead for the Sven over the Spectre is already here at 18 minutes, and that's very likely to grow even worse over time. Shadow did pick up an Invis Rune at the top lane, not that he's really going to be able to do a whole lot with this. Scouts out Arteezy, and that's really all. None of his team rotating over, trying to uh, go for some sort of weird gank. Instead, Wings, I think they really just got to focus on getting some farm and letting Secret come to them in the next five minutes or so, because I'm not sure if these team fights are really going to change unless they start getting some, some bigger items but they disagree. They're going to go for the four-man smoke. They, they. I'm kind of totally in agreement with you. If they find a straight-up 5v5 team fight into Exorcism and God Strength, they, I think they get crushed. So they need to try and isolate the IO plus one, because often Secret Setup is going to have three heroes somewhere on the map with the IO backing up the carry Sven. Oh, Sven actually blinking forward straight into Bian. They will be able to get a really good Fiend script. Highlight die in the background has to go for the relocate out and will be able to save Eternal Envy. Oh, importantly, there was no Ravage to catch Pylai Die on the relocate in. They had Ravage, it was up in two seconds, they could have won that fight. Yeah. They do have it now, though, so this gets very risky for Secret, who yeah. may be forced to, who may try and re-engage. With God Strength down, no relocate, Ravage still up, even if Fiend's Grip is not. And Pylai Die might have actually just put himself too far forward. Oh! The combination of nukes, they just left that open a little bit longer. Maybe Bian could have gotten an anchor smash or something. That would have been enough to finish him off, but... He's very deep by himself here, but... Does he got some sort of escape? He really doesn't. He's got teammates coming okay, fast, there though. He will be okay, and uh, Secret actually may be able to pick up a really early Rosh on us. Yeah, sure enough. Huh? They see Spectre top, they know Haunt's down, and... This is 
like, it's still an okay phase of the game for Wings. They're not losing fights. They're building towards the Radiant. So they're effectively fighting without 4,000 of their net worth with the Spectre just picking up the Relic now. So we're very much at that stage of the game where, if anything, Wings just want to try and get a pick off or two or have a slight or trade evenly in a team fight when they've got their ultimates and then back off and farm. Um, they trade evenly by just not losing anyone and secret transition into a Roshan slash Aegis, but they need to get more than that if they want to really put wings down here in game number two. Yeah. It is kind of interesting. We're going to get to see a, a different side of, uh, of secret in this tournament, a, a secret that's actually ahead and how they're going to be able to perform with that kind of lead. Because as you said, like this is a team that does prefer to be able to have more of a, a farmy, like late game oriented uh, style. And they've already managed to do well in the first 20 minutes. They should be able to build this up even further, barring any major mistakes. And we'll see whether or not those mistakes do come. Puppy is going to be caught out trying to do the counter warding. It looks like maybe just a free one off. The relocate also going to be coming down onto Bian. He does have the Ravage if he wants the blow to be able to save himself, and he does so. They did get the Ancient Apparition, and Bian will be able to escape. But it looks like they're just going to try and go for the kill onto Pylite Die. He did bring the Sven back, so never mind. Down the bottom lane. So now that he's gone, they're actually going to go for our tour. Managed to get the sleep onto him. Dagger will wake him back up, but they managed to get the help air smash as well there. Arteezy turns around for the silence. Actually now going for the spirit type and with Universe jumping in. The ultimate goes down from the Spectre, but it doesn't really seem to be enough. Arteezy, there's just not enough damage to be able to focus him down. And it's in start throwing out their shots, but now Eternal Envy is here. He's going to go straight for Blink, forcing that wind run out of him. While Arteezy's right in the middle of two different heroes, should be able to take out both rather easily. Eternal Envy's going to be the focus of this focus. Fire and he's actually dropping pretty damn fast. The Ice Blast coming in, not going to be able to land, but Arteezy still looking for the chase. Innocence being slowed down. Looks like Universe should be able to get in front of him with the Bat Rider. And a one for three exchange there, clearly to the favor of Secret. Hmm. It's still like, it doesn't feel awful for Wings. Like trading <laughs> one for three when they kill the Sven of all heroes. Yeah. They're buying time against the Aegis. Yeah, yeah. I, it's Secret who come out on top of that one, but it's not like, okay, they're really starting to snowball. I still don't feel like they've done enough to completely keep Wings out of this game. The Radiance timing is at least going to be decent for Wings. Mm -hmm. The Wind range has stayed alive. Like that Sven kill gave them a lot of money. You're looking at 660 gold just for the kill itself. and. Yeah, the stats actually agreed with you. They were slightly ahead in gold from that exchange. Wait, for, oh, with a one wings. for three. Yeah, yeah, and, but with a one for three. And before that, they'd killed the AA. So yeah, it was kind of a separate fight, but at least Wings, for the most part, are holding their own here in the mid game, despite their gold deficit, despite the fact Spectre didn't have a Radiance until now. Yeah. 7 to 16, the Radiance is now up for the Spectre, and that can change a lot. For Wings, they're going to have... Uh, there is still the problem for Secret that they are operating on two different supports that are very easily focused down by a Spectre Ancient Apparition as well as, in some cases, Wisp. As they neither one of them has a whole lot of defensive mechanisms, not really a reliable escape nor disable against the Spectre. And Batrider is also going to have some issues yeah. now that the Radiance is up. I mean, this just feels like all it's going to take is one bad team fight where Wings get off an amazing like Ravage into Shackle, they get the grip onto the Sven and suddenly the game's going to be dead even and momentum's going to be going Wings' way. So Secret, I think they can kind of tell, like they're they're one bad team fight against the Spectre Radiance away from just perhaps being too owed. Yeah. Just, and even though they're ahead right now, it can so quickly change reversing a Spectre draft. Do you get the feeling that while you can say they're playing conservatively, it also feels like a little bit scared that Secret are, yeah. are just kind of like Oh man, guys, we're, we're finally up in a game, and we can't afford to throw this away. They don't seem to have any confidence whatsoever. They also, like, you can see, like, small little misplays here and there. Um, the initiation of the top tier 2 tower. Envy kind of going in, like, even just that recent fight, I don't feel like Envy exactly just played his hero all that well. Um, he put himself in a position where he, he was the one who didn't have the Aegis. Aegis was on the Death Prophet. Arteezy getting caught out by three heroes wasn't an issue because he had the backup. And then Envy blinks in to try and fight without exorcism behind him, and he just dies. So uh, things like that, I just feel like Secret aren't all on the same page. But more than anything, yeah, just they're kind of playing scared slash without confidence. The sleep at bottom lane on the Death Prophet did actually force two rotations from Secret. And they might be able to catch, yeah, they're going to be able to catch Ice Ice. So they're going to pull him back in for Arteezy to be able to munch on. And Universe mm. will be the one to pick up the kill. They, they're committing to the high yeah. ground. They're going to force Wings to respond. 
This is smart. He still has the Aegis as well as 16 Bloodstone charges. But TZ will very happily challenge this Tier 3 nice and early. They still have the relocate play ready to go. Waiting until after BN. Oh, but he's lost ages, his Ravage. So but... I'm not sure they can fully commit to a Rax here. I think if you're Wings, you're okay losing a Tier 3 tower here. You don't want to force a really bad fight. And now the Exorcism is going to run out. And Arteezy will be healed up. So, Secret, go ahead and call it a day. Back out. Take it to Tier 3 and not risking anything else. Yeah. I mean, again, Secret playing at a very safe pace here. They are going to continue to kind of extend their lead. They're out farming their opponents for the most part. They're putting themselves in a position to just secure the next Roshan. Envy can farm up a BKB, which will solve a lot of its problems as far as fighting into Ravage, Shackle Shots, Radiance on the Spectre. Yeah. Uh, negate a lot of the damage up, but it means that it's just like the Fiend script to worry about. But. Nice scan there from the Dire. will be able to catch Wings as they smoked up and running through the river. They even draw the exact path that Wings is going to be heading into. They cut across into the Dire jungle. And Secret looks like they're going to be grouping up on the top side and might be able to catch something here. The Radiant now using their scan in the mid. I think they were hoping that that little bit of red meant that somebody was coming out of middle and into the lanes, but rather quite the opposite. Yeah, Envy kind of trying to bait here, knowing he has the relocate to back him up, but gonna see much come from this. And now the the wards will scout out Wing's exact position in the jungle. So Secret likely to try and take a team fight again pretty soon. They've got another Exorcism. They are in good fighting shape with a, a Shivers guard up soon on Arteezy. Got a lot of farm ready to go. It's just really Envy's Sven who's maybe missing that next big item. What is this farm at? 3,600? What, uh, what do you think he's waiting on? I think it really has to be the BKB, or at least that to me makes yeah. the most sense. So once he has that BKB, that's kind of like the, a serious peak for a secret at that point in time, where they could rather easily go high ground if they wanted to. It's an item you often don't want to get too early on in the game, but I think we're hitting that point where Secret with the next Aegis will be able to go for a lane of Rax, and that's where you want to have BKB against the Ravage. Right. So I think he's made the right call not going for the BKB earlier on in his item build, but we're there now. 4k gold. Envy, what's it going to be? And Wings themselves just grouped up around mid. They want to stick, stick as 5 for the most part. Maybe they go as 4 and have the Haunt to back him up, but... You call it BKB? And Shiva's ready to go. We'll see what Secret do from here. Wings are still the ones actually pushing forward, though. They've got the Focus Fire on the Tier 2 tower. Chipping away at it, I'm sure Secret. Not going to let this one go to start mounting their response with the universe. That means a quick blink back from Wings on the retreat. And this is still a fairly squishy Spectre. So in these fights, if you suddenly, if Sven gets on top of Spectre with a Stormbolt in God Strength form with BKB, Spectre will melt very quickly. Yeah, this definitely seems like a game where Shadow's going to have to play much more of a gorilla style hit yeah. and run. In dream scenario is he finds the Io in the back lines, kills him off to start things. Yeah. Then tries to clean up heroes like Ancient Apparition, even Batrider. And kiting the two other cores, because those two others seem to be too tanky to actually force down even Arteezy. That, uh, that many Bloodstone charges and that much armor now, thanks to the Shivas as well as the Veil. It's going to be tough to rip through. With, uh, with physical damage, at least. Blink Dagger, now up for the Tidehunter. There is still the opportunity for that kind of dream, game-changing initiation from him. But that seems to be the only way right now for Wings to be able to win a fight. They're going to be able to jump here in the top lane. Go for Eternal Envy. Yeah, actually yeah. pops the BKB. Ravage goes down trying to stop that relocate, but the relocate still actually goes down. Eternal Envy is going to be Fiends gripped up. Miscommunication from Secret, but Eternal Envy may be just farmed enough to be able to do okay here. He gets at least the Tide before he ends up dying. Now Pylai die is going to be brought right back. What was that, gods? I... It, a relocate save was there, but he pops the BKB. Yeah, he couldn't tether him. And also, like, it looked like Io was actually going to die before the relocate, because Spectre did a really good job of finding, and he gets vision of the Io, and he actually jumps on the Io over the Sven just to try and go for that kill, but mm -hmm. 
like you say, you just don't you don't pop your BKB there for your Sven. You're up against the Bane. You're not going to be able to to BKB your way out of that situation. You don't even have a TP, so the BKB definitely not the play. And Envy gives away a big kill to the side of Wings. That's the kind of it's not the big team fight loss, but it's a pretty big kill for Shadow, who now completes a full Manta style off of it. Wind Ranger mm -hmm. completes a full Aghanim Scepter off of it. That's two big item pickups on the the main core heroes of Wings off of just one small little skirmish. And the thing is, Eternal Envy is not going to be the one feeling the pain of a Manta style from Spectre. It's going to be those poor supports who all of a sudden used to have one Spectre that instantly jumps. Now there's going to be three Spectres surrounding that that poor little pile I die wisp and beating him into the ground nice and quick. They have the, the Axe and the Wind Ranger, so better focus fire on the way to be able to maybe finally deal with uh, heroes like Death Prophet in a fight, but we'll have to see because that fight is yet to come. Secret are going to be going for Roshan next, and I don't think Wings can actually stop it with 50 seconds left on the Ravage. Yeah. The other big problem with what th that sequence of events up top is Envy already down to a 9 second BKB. This is one of those games where the five, the BKB duration makes a big difference because of the way the late game is going to play out, where you've got a lot of these kind of spammable disables like Shackle Shot, things yeah. like Gush, which is just a, a pesky slow. Um, it's going to be really tough for Envy, even fighting into the Nightmare in the late game, if he's got a 5 second BKB, he really needs to rely on that long duration one, which is why he picks it up so late in his item build, because he was trying to wait and time the BKB pickup such that they're going to be ready to end the game. So dying and using your 10 second BKB, a big, big loss for Secret. Well, Secret with a fresh Aegis may have plucked the courage to be able to go high ground again. Again, there's still that missing tier 3. That bottom lane, so they, if they ever do find the opening, it's going to be a really fast lane of racks for Secret. But Wings are still doing a great job. They're pushing out the waves constantly. Now that we have a Mantis style, obviously this means even more opportunities to, to keep the lanes forward. And Secret off kilter, unable to go for the simple five man. I, the push I just don't think is that easy because Spectre can almost always kill this Io. I think Puppy has to keep an eye. Puppy's got the Glimmer Cape, but I think more than using on himself, he needs to use it on Pile I Die when the Haunt comes out. Mm. Keeping the Io alive much more important than his own life. Run around with the Ancient Apparition Gem. And that will actually help out quite a bit at being able to stop Wings from feeling comfortable in split pushing because no matter what, there is still a Blink Dagger Sven with a, with a Relocate. So even just an Ancient Apparition Ice Blast may be enough to set up or relocate kill. So they do have to be careful when trying to split push and buy themselves time. May end up being punished if Secret can find the opening. But in the meantime, Arteezy's 3,500 gold. He's got his next item coming in soon, I guess. Yeah, I think the big thing to be able to defend the Aegis push is just going to be having buybacks on some of these key fighting heroes, the Wind Ranger and the Spectre. Wind Ranger a little bit short, so perhaps trying to farm it at this top lane before the push comes, but Arteezy's ready to force this one. Gush, as well as Dagger, already being used. I almost feel like this is uh, a near impossible scenario for Wings to be able to save this lane of Rax. Got to pop the cliff, get to sleep. Now the jump in universe is going to be able to catch Innocence. The ultimate is popped, and they get a really good fiend strip onto Eternal Heavy with the BKB activated. They can't actually do anything to be able to save, and the relocate may actually come out now as Pilot Die makes the tether in, but it's just under Arteezy buffing him up as much as possible. Eternal Heavy may have dropped a little low, but it's Arteezy who's become the main carry now as he challenges the rest of Wings as a full five man with the Aegis now still intact. Good shackle shot. Going to be able to buy some time. Good Ravage as they manage to get Universe in the background as well, finishing him off with a sleep and a couple of right clicks while Arteezy still becomes the main focus. Shadow is already cleaned up. Pile I die Wisp and will be able to make sure there's no escape for Arteezy in life number two. So that's why he just full out commits suicide and that means more items for the Spectre. Defusible aid picked up by him. Yeah, they lose Rex and importantly, yeah, Secret get their first lane. It's far from game over off of that, but it was a much needed lane of Rex given that it was the second Roshan and Wings were starting to claw their way back into the game with the Spectre Radiance, mm -hmm. with the Wind Ranger Aghanim Scepter, so... Big Ultimate's going cooldown, so Secret could look to fight on Respawn, but... More likely than not, they're going to be a little bit cautious in doing so, because they've lost that Aegis. Yeah, they, they can't afford to lose a fight. 
on uh, on their side of the base. It was, That's for sure. Pilot Eye having a Glimmer Cape of his own in that fight, making a big difference. And also going for a really good tether. Spectre haunted on top of the Io, but then he tethered a really long distance to get away from the Spectre who was attacking him. So mm. he tethered into the enemy base. He eventually dies, but he kind of wasted a good five seconds of Shadow's time. Yeah. Where he could have been going for the AA or the Batrider as well to follow up that initial kill on Io. More split pushing from Shadow as he's attempting to use the Manta to do so. Other than that, secret. You think they wait on the the next stages before trying to go to the tier twos at mid or top? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure the play is just going to be wait next Roshan, get Aegis and Cheese, and then go for another lane of racks. Kind of as we saw where it's almost a bit of brute force where you're like, okay, we've got enough building damage with the god strength and the exorcism as well as enough sustainability with the io who has a relocate save the age is the cheese that even if we commit too hard and lose a couple lives we're gonna get a rax here or at least a yeah. t3 tower perhaps so bit by bit they can brute force their way through the wing space secret knowing that there is no ravage for at least another 30 seconds they are going to go for a smoke and attempted pick onto the tide hunter not going to be able to get jim but they will be able to get ice ice instead pulling him back in that's a free kill for sure, as he tries to go for the deny on himself in the nightmare, but no possibility. And now with that, they may actually be able to still go high ground. Still waiting on that Ravage. No Bane for 45 seconds. Jump forward, Shackle Shot, not actually going to latch. And a really great silence is the return from Arteezy. They're not even worrying about heroes at this point in time. They take the building. Melee racks down, and now try and get out of here. Good blink away, just in time by the Sven, trying to get some distance. Shadow, he's going to go for the jump forward, though. Managed to get Pilot Eye die. What else can they get? Arteezy managed to run himself back while Puppy TPs away. Eternal Envy would be a great kill, but unfortunately, the power shot not on point, and Eternal Envy blinks himself away. They're still going to try and catch him, it looks like. If they can get close enough for a dagger and maybe a shackle shot, but it doesn't latch to anything. Four staff comes out. Dagger is going to slow down Eternal Envy even further. They follow the dagger to where it's going. Eternal Envy gets the blink out, though. And I think that spells the end. Wings were desperate for some kills after losing their second melee racks, but all they got was uh, a wisp from that. That was just such well-calculated aggression from Secret. And that's the first time where I feel like they were playing with confidence. Up until that point in the mm. game, it's always like, okay, let's wait till we have an Aegis. Let's play things really cautiously. But this time they're like, no, we know the exact cooldown on Ravage. We've got 10 seconds before it's up. Let's get something done. Yeah, and they're going to get a little bit more done as just Vision is all that's needed to be able to catch Innocence in the relocate gank. And just like that, Secret are in a great position. They can control the middle lane. Bottom lane's going to be pushing itself out constantly. They can get a, um, an Aegis for themselves and end the game. And Wings, they have been gaining a little bit of gold every single time these pushes come out. We've seen, you know, the, the bottom lane push was actually where Spectre got a decent amount uh, of kills in there. But it hasn't seemed to be enough to get that Spectre back in the driving scene of this game. And hasn't allowed Wings to be the aggressors, right? The one who determined when the fight actually starts. Yeah, this, this long Ravage cooldown has really been Wings' undoing. Anytime they haven't had it, they can't really fight. Best case scenario if they've got Horn is they kill an Io, maybe an AA. But they're never really able to control the Sven and have that team fight threat against Team Secret when they haven't had Ravage. And as now as kind of this game develops, we'll see even more BKBs picked up. Universe has recently got one for himself. He's now got a 10 second. Pilot I die on the Io may even be able to farm up a BKB oh. if things continue to drag. And I think Wings, even if this goes even later without them losing any further buildings in their base, they're still going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, they're going to be hard pressed to uh, actually stop Secret. Especially given the amount of map control they have, they'll still be able to hold themselves a larger and larger net worth lead over time. Unless Wings can find some sort of openings. 2,500 gold on our Tide, still a ways away from that next item, whatever it may be. And I'd like to see a Shiva sometime on this team. Yeah, Shiva's, I mean, give you even more damage reduction against the Sven. And they really need to be able to find ways to kite him. Uh, Bian is going to run into Eternal Envy. Blink out. I think Wings recognize if they give up another Roshan, they may just lose this game. Yeah, it's our Levy. That was actually a lot of damage, but immediately the Glimmer Cape comes out from Puppy. Yeah, a lot of what Wings have to try and do is try and force a preemptive BKB out of Sven and then kite, him, kite away from him, or force out a preemptive relocate in a situation like that. So they're not really fully committing to a fight there, just trying to see how Secret respond yeah. when they jump in. 
This Roche pit. Centaur on Wildwing. Mercy. Poor Wildwing. Doesn't even stand a chance. Its owner is not giving it a fighting chance. Come on now. Come on now. That's just cruel. Forcing it to stand there. Take the punishment. Eternal Envy found an opening. He managed to get the Bane. And now with the BKBs pop, there's nothing Dan can actually do. The Ravage ready to go, but he's trying to wait out the timers. It's just not going to be good enough. Shadow has to pull out retreat. There is the buyback on the Tidehunters, so Secrets may not be able to push high ground unless they can actually get more. They have found it. Shadow is going to be corralled by Universe back into the team. And now Wings, if they hope to be able to defend, whether it's Roshan or potentially even high ground. Oh, I guess there's still the tier two that they have up the top lane, and Roshan is not up for another 47 seconds. Wings are actually really lucky in that regard. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to be forced to buy back or anything, but yeah. no Rosh loss, but as soon as that Rosh is back up, Secret are going to be heading into it, and it's a, at least a reasonably long time until the next Exorcism comes online with the 70 seconds further on cooldown. Something that Wings are going to be very wary of. They will have the Spectre back alive, but the problem is the Spectre Haunt cooldown matches that Exorcism. So by the time they have another Haunt, there will be an Exorcism on the side of Team Secret. Daedalus, Sven. Oh dear. Somebody is going to get smoked, man. Uh, that is going to be a one-shot opportunity. Yeah, one of these supports. Even without this item, that, that last fight, Bane got three-shotted, and yeah. that's one of the big problem heroes for us, hero, for someone like Sven. Envy, he can catch the Bane at the start of the fight, quickly burst him down before any kind of response is possible, and there is no response available if you get the stun on the Bane, because none of the, none of Wings' teammates can actually save him in that scenario. They haven't got any... For, the full staff is on the Bane. The BKB piercing disable is on the Bane, so they're all in on this Bane to deal with the Sven BKB. Beating into Roshan. Big man doesn't stand a chance against Eternal Envy. Full out six slotted Sven with a wisp behind him, increasing that attack speed. And Wings, well, they're just waiting for their doom, essentially. Secret, get every advantage that they need. It's going to be an Aegis for Arteezy, a cheese to highlight Eye. Yeah, that's really nice to have because he's the one always getting jumped by the Spectre, and he can then just tether a teammate who's also taking damage, heal himself while healing any teammate back to full HP as well. Oh, and so. a double damage. Yeah, just a casual You'll side rune pickup as well. So they'll go for the tier 2 at top lane. And Secret, seemingly, on the path, victory, game number 2 to push this to a full game 3 series. KB for Spectre. I'm not sure this is the item that saved hey. the game for you. <laughs> We'll see how it works. Tier 2 now down. The top lane is exposed. The scan from Secret. They're actually anticipating this play, but they used the smoke a little bit, the scan a little bit too early. But hey, guess what? No one's defending the high ground. Yeah. I wonder what that's about. And Spectre, when he defends, it's going to pop out of smoke, so this gets even more obvious. Oh dear. Oh, Ateezy. Oh, the smoke actually pops now. The BKB activated. They're going to go for Innocence here. Easy. 1300 damage critical sleep goes down from eyesight i have no idea what wings are planning now with their two supports already down b ravage ready to go the bkbs are down so this will be a successful stun on many of these heroes but are they actually ever going to have the damage the god strength is going to be running out soon but now the exorcism comes out from arteezy he's going to be challenging shadow immediately eternal levy is going to be taking some focus fire damage but really it's just not enough as arteezy is challenging anybody anybody to fight him now they go for the back line they will maybe be able to get for Eternal Envy as Pilot I barely managed to keep him alive as EE just doesn't care. He's going for the racks and there they get it. Forcing out the GG call from Wing Secret will push this to a game three and keep their hopes alive in this group. Whew, some, some really good IO play this game coming out from Pilot Eye. Just finding numerous saves. Even at the end there, it got to the tether with the cheese to keep Envy alive a bit longer. But mm -hmm. I think the, the big front of Wings was the lane 